Hey folks, welcome back to another review with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today I'm going to go a little bit off the beaten path here with what I would normally cover and show you this game called Botswana. It's it's put out by Griffin Games nowadays, and um, it's a little card game that comes with some toys that you'll probably recognize from your childhood days. So let's take a look at it. All right, as we tear into the box, first of all, you'll see that it comes with, hey, imagine that, some instructions, and holy cow, look at that. It is not even a book. It is just one piece of heavy stock paper, front, back that's all it is indicator that it is a simple game then you will also get a deck of cards then you'll get those things remember those little plastic packs you used to buy at like the grocery store that came with animals in it you would beg your mom or your dad to buy them for you and if it was your dad you he said no but uh if he was if it was your mom, then she would say, okay, honey, if you're good. Well, you get a whole bunch of those things too. Let's take a look at gameplay. The game Botswana is played with uh, in as many rounds as there are players. So if there are only two players, you play two rounds. If, you, if there are three players, you play three rounds, so forth and so on. It goes from two to five players and it can last anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Might go over a little bit if somebody's uh, taking a little bit more time than they should on their turns, but it's a very, very simple game. Here, to set up the game, you first of all just take the animals and group them together and place them on the table, like so. Then, you take the pile of cards, give them a shuffle, and then, if you're playing two or four players, you would randomly remove two cards from the deck before you deal all of them out. If you're playing with three players, uh, you would remove three cards face down from the game so that nobody knows what they are. And then if you're playing with five players, you play with all 30 of the cards. But you would simply, since I'm going to set up a three-player game, you would take three cards, remove them face down, and then, deal out uh, the rest of the cards evenly. Now the point of Botswana is to have the most points after all of the rounds have been played. Uh, so, and each animal that you take during the game is going to be worth a number of points equal to uh, the card that is on the top of that animal stack at the end of the game. You'll get that when I go through scoring in a little bit, but basically each lion that you have, if the top card of that stack is a four at the end of the round, every lion that you have will be worth four points, and so forth and so on. So as we begin the round, each player takes the hand of cards that they were dealt, and uh, we're going to, in turn, do two things each, okay? Those two things are, quite simply, playing a card down on the table and then taking one of the animals that are on the table. The card that you played does not have to match the kind of animal that you take. It's just that simple. You play a card, you take an animal. It's very simple. So, on my first turn, I'm going to go ahead and go with, um, I'm gonna play this two right here. So I'm going to play a two and I don't have to take a lion, but because of this, the, the plan that I have for the round, I'm going to go ahead and take a lion. Then the next person goes, they take their hand of cards and because of the strategy that they're going to play, uh, I don't know, we're going to take a three leopard and then we're also going to take a leopard. Then the next person goes, and takes their hand of cards and plays, well, I don't like what, uh, I don't like any of those colors, I mean, any of those animals. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a two zebra. And I wonder what player one's doing. So I'm gonna take an animal, a lion. Remember, the animal that you take does not have to match the animal that you played. And so it comes back around to the first placer, the first person's turn. All right, 
I'm going to take a look at these cards. And you know what? I'm not even going to go for elephants. So I'm just going to put that fly right there. I'm not going to take an elephant. I'm going to take another lion. Second player goes. I'm really not going to go for elephants either. I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to take another whole leopard. Then, next person says, okay, fine. You're going to take a whole bunch of lions? I'm going to make sure that you don't get very many points. And play the lion, but I'm going to stay with my zebras. And so play continues until all six of each one animal's card has been played. At the end of the round, after we have played most of our cards, not all of them, because uh, the round end, once one animal has all six of their cards played, zero to five, so you won't always play all of your cards, but you will play most of them. The round ends with the elephants being at three, Rhinos being at four, lions being at five, leopards being one, and zebras being four. So each player would take the animals that they got during the turn and count them based on those point totals and then give a final total number. For example, let's say that this, these were the animals that I had on my, uh, in my area when the round ended. I would get five each for my lions, which is 15, and then four each for my rhino rhinos, which would be eight. So 15 plus eight would equal 23 points for that round. Then uh, the other players would, would tally their totals, and we would make uh, note of those. Then we would set all the pieces back and do a second round, and then a third round, and whoever has the most points at the end of the last round, wins the game. And that's Botswana. It's not very difficult at all. As a matter of fact, I rarely play this game with any other gamers. If I'm playing Botswana, it's usually with a group of kids, and they really uh, grab hold of it very easily. Uh, the suggested age is seven and up for Botswana. Which, yeah, that's probably pretty good, but I, I play this with my son who's turning five in October, and uh, he enjoys it. I don't think he probably, he probably doesn't grasp everything that's going on as far as tactics and strategy is concerned, but he loves, he loves the animals, he loves to manipulate the animals, and um, he does have an understanding of numerical order. So, he enjoys playing it. I would imagine, though, that first grade is about as low as you can really go with this game. Now, do I like the game? Not really. It's not one that I am going to pull out and say, hey, guys, let's play this game on a, on a game night at, at The Rock on Tuesday or at Cool Stuff on Saturdays just not gonna do it. It's just not that fun for me. Now I get a kick out of watching other kids enjoy it. Um, and I can play the game with that level, but again, it has to be one of those gotta be in the mood for it kind of games. This is not one of the games that you're gonna pull out with a bunch of other adults and play it five times in one night. I guess it could happen. I'm just not going to be part of that group. But as a kid game, this is a really neat game. And it teaches um, uh, hand management. It teaches um, how to use the cards that are in your hand to your best advantage. And it does so in a very simplistic way. And I think if you have a group of kids that maybe it's a Sunday school group or maybe it's your class at school, or something to that effect, I think they would greatly enjoy Botswana. Uh, not so much on the gamer side. However, I have seen a group of guys, uh, grown men, sitting around a table in Chattanooga, Tennessee, playing this game. Now, I didn't talk to them afterwards, so I don't know exactly if they enjoyed it or not, but it, I have seen it played, so it can be done. But that's Botswana from uh, Eagle Griffin Games. Um, a cool, uh, neat, very light, 
I would say kids game, um, but it's definitely a filler if you want to have some adults play it. Check it out. See you on the flip side, folks. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.